Hello guys, welcome to the our course series Public Economics and this is unit 5 Externalities and Solutions. So what are externalities? Externalities are cost borne or it can be benefits by the third parties who are neither producer nor consumers. So it means uh, the third party who are neither the part of consumption activity or the production activity but they are getting affected maybe positively or negatively. So what is social cost? Social cost or it can be the social benefits. So social cost are the cost from an activity which touches the entire society directly or indirectly. Not just the individual who is producing or consuming but the total society directly it can affect or indirectly it can affect like pollution and smoking and uh, alcohol consumption increase in alcohol consumption may lead to increase in crime rate in the society so marginal social cost is equal to marginal private cost plus marginal external cost and similarly marginal social benefits is equal to marginal private benefit plus marginal external benefit so negative externality increases social cost and positive externalities increases social benefits so we understand negative externalities in production side with this graph so this is the marginal social benefit curve marginal private benefit or demand because there is no externality in the consumption side so marginal social benefit is equal to marginal private benefit and this is the marginal private cost or supply curve and there is production side there is an externality so negative externality is there in the production side so marginal social cost will be marginal private cost plus marginal external cost so here in this quantity q and qm the cost to production for the society is higher than the benefits the society is getting so marginal cost of production is higher than the marginal benefits the society is getting so this area is the triangle acb is the welfare loss to the society so next is the positive externalities so positive externalities in the consumption side we will understand through this graph msc marginal social cost or marginal private cost is same because there is no externality in the production side we are assuming here this is the curve for marginal private benefit and this is the line for marginal social benefit which is equal to marginal private benefit plus marginal external benefits because there is positive externality so this marginal private benefit plus marginal external benefit this is the total marginal social benefit uh, so in the private market equilibrium the equilibrium quantity is qm where the marginal private benefit is equal to marginal private cost but for the marginal social benefit the quantity should be here the qs quantity should be there because in this quantity qs minus qm quantity this marginal benefits is greater than the marginal cost for the production so wherever the benefits are higher than the cost there is welfare so we are not producing qs we are only producing qm that's why we are losing this welfare triangle a b c so this is the welfare loss to the society because we are not producing qs amount so you may be wondering what about this area because the welfare depends on the quantity we were already achieving this much welfare the only thing is in private market we were considering only this welfare but from the society point of view this welfare should be counted so this total welfare is the society welfare what the government can do government can achieve the equilibrium quantity at qs by informing citizens or giving some kind of subsidy to citizens so the demand curve shift to the marginal social benefit curve or society's demand curve and they started demanding qs quantity in that case we will achieve the full welfare for the society so thank you guys see you in the next video if there is any doubt and query post it in the comment section below thank you guys